So no matter how many books you read on internet marketing and sales strategies, one thing you'll hear a lot about is A-B split testing. So what is that and can you do it on WordPress? Well, that's what we're going to have a look at in today's video. So let's get into this. Now, if you've followed my channel before, you'll know that I have various different affiliate marketing incomes and strategies that I'm working on, websites, email lists, YouTube channels, and there's various ways you can actually A-B split test amongst all those different platforms. So to give you an idea, I have Ezoic on the majority of my websites for my display ads. And within Ezoic, you can even split test in Ezoic. There's a function called Tag Tester. And what you can do is, for free, you can test different variations on your title. How often have you created a really good article and wrote the title and thought, is that going to get the clicks? Is that catchy? Is that going to stand out? Well, you can test that. So within Ezoic, you can test variations on that title and it will give you an overall winner. So you could test three or four different variations of your title, which is incredible. The other way I'm using A-B split testing is in my emails. So again, I'm trying to get that open rate up in my email list. I'm trying to get those emails with the catchy titles that people can scroll through their email list, see a catchy title, click it, open my email, and then hopefully enjoy the content that's within that email. One of the hardest parts of email marketing is just to get people to open it. Once they open it, hopefully your content is good enough to keep them interactive and engaged in that content but just simply getting somebody to open the email is really difficult. But recently I found a tool that I can use on WordPress, which might be valuable for you guys. Now it's called Nellio, and it's a plugin that has a free version and it also has a paid version. And what you can do is you can use this on your WordPress website to test for various things. Now I mean various things because there is so much you can test. So to give you an idea what you could test, you could test different themes, which themes your customers and visitors like the most. Color variation, button sizes, call to actions, layouts, widgets. You can test anything that's on your website, you can test variations from. And it's so simple, there is no coding or anything to do. You can even test different checkouts for e-commerce sites as well. So if you're getting people to click the product and add it to the cart, but then they're not checking out or purchasing that product. You can use this tool to find out why. But for me, the best function on this tool is the heat map. Now what the heat map does is it allows you to see the actual user themselves. It's like spying over the shoulder and watching actually what they're doing when they're on your site. You can see where they're scrolling. Do they scroll halfway down the page and then bounce off? If so, you may need a call to action button just before they bounce off. Or are they clicking certain boxes that's not the boxes you want them to click? You can see various things with a heat map. Now, before you make any changes whatsoever, I would suggest that you need to see the interaction of the customer. You do need to have these heat maps. Now, Nellio is not the only tool to do that. I think there's another one, uh, Hotjar, I think it's called. There's various heat map plugins and tools out there. But this is very, very simple. And because it's part of the A-B testing package as well, for me, I didn't just want to purchase a heat map. I wanted something that does the heat map. And then from the results of the heat map, I can then go and make the changes. So Nellio for me seemed to fit the bill. Now the heat map is part of the paid version. The free version allows you to do some A-B split testing, but the actual paid version has the heat map. So I do think it is worth getting the heat map as part of the paid package. I think they do a money back guarantee, so you can test it for a few months. If you're not happy with it, just get out of it and get your money back. But uh, I'm certainly using it, and it is worth testing over a number of months to actually get some good results. Now, once you've used the heat map, you can start doing some testing. And to show you some examples, take a look at the screen now. So on the example you can see here, this is testing some colors. So you can see these three call to action boxes here have pastel, nice, friendly, warm looking colors. And then if you take a look at the this one now, this seems very corporate and a little bit bland and blue, but it has one red call to action in the middle. So what they're testing out here is if these soft, paler colors get the most clicks 
or whether using two bland colors on the outside and then a striking color on the middle gets them to click that button. So you can see some results here. So they tested three variants on this one. So variant A had four blue boxes, starting with a pale blue, medium blue, and then a dark blue. Variant B was the pastel colors, and variant C was the one where it had two blue boxes and a red box in the middle. And you can see here that version C actually performed outstandingly better compared to the other two. And what actually surprised me is the pastel one, so B, performed significantly worse, which shocked me because I thought the pastel colors would be the most prominent. So it just shows you without split testing, you would never know. So another test you can see here, there's three variants on this one, A, B, and C. Now you can tell this is a different type of layout. So they've done different images on this post, to see which ones get the most clicks. So again, it might be a destination, it might be a travel blog, and they're wanting to see which images are enticing people to click through and check out that holiday. So you can see here variant A, B, and C. And you can see all three variants got very similar page views. So variant A got 1,289 visits, variant B got 1,300 visits, and variant C got 1,294. So very, very similar traffic numbers. And you can see that version A with those two images got 2.87 conversion and variant B was 80% up and it got 5.9% conversion. So compared to variant A, which got 37 clicks, variant B got 68 clicks. And compare that with variant C, which was dramatically worse. Those two images got 2% conversion rates which was only 27 clicks. That was down 27%. So you can see there clearly variant B is a huge winner. And just those two images are obviously just attracting people's eyes and getting them to click through and hopefully book that holiday. So no matter what tool you use, whether you use Nelio or use another tool, it's vitally important that you do split testing in some form. You could just have an article that is sitting there and totally underperforming and could just with a few little changes, maybe you change the call to action button, maybe you change the title, maybe you change the layout of the page. Just something that you could change very, very simply could make the world of difference. Now, once you've done your split testing using Nelio, it's very simple to actually put those changes into place. Once you've found out which variant works, you simply click a button that says, apply changes to my website, and those changes that you made will instantly override the current formula or format that you've got. So it'll put the winning formula in place. So you don't have to go to the article and start editing everything. It will do that for you, which is a huge time saver. Now, obviously, you don't need to have a plugin or a tool to do split testing. You could create separate articles around the same topic and the same content that you've got, but with different color variations. But remember, you will have to know index the article, the new article, or canonicalize them so that Google knows which article is the original one so it's not seeing duplicate content. So there's a lot of risk involved for that for me. I don't fancy doing all that and risking forgetting to no index it or something like that. So by using a tool like this, it's just so simple. There's no way it would publish the split testing without putting all the safety practicalities in place. So that for me was really, really important because I, I know I'd slip up somewhere and I'd, I'd put three posts the same on Google that just had a different color button or something silly like that. So for a relatively small monthly fee, I certainly think it's worth testing this tool out and seeing if any variants could work for you. You only need a five or 10% increase in sales on, let's say your best converting page, the one that brings you in all those Amazon commissions, just doing a few tweaks and changes could up that by 20 or 30%. Now take that over a month, that could be hundreds of dollars extra for you per month. Or if you're getting people to stay on the page longer because you can create more engaging articles, you can see from the heat map where they're scrolling and bouncing off. If you can improve that and get them to stay on the page longer or click through to more articles, then that could help you rank better and even gain you more traffic. So it's not just about converting and getting more sales. You can actually get more traffic, more interaction, more time on page. The point I want to get across is that you just need to experiment, split test, 
test, test, test, test. That's all I ever say. Whenever anybody says to me, how can I improve my website? How can I get more sales? I'll ask them, what have you done to test? What variants have you tested? And if they say nothing, I just hit publish and I left it. Well, that's where you're going wrong. Without testing and analyzing the data, how can you improve? Because you don't know what to improve on. You don't know where you're going wrong. So for me, I totally understand why most books say you need to test because it is true that most sales campaigns are based upon results, testing and formulas that work. And if you don't know what's working or what's not working on your website, how can you improve it? So I hope you like that video. If you have done any A-B split testing, comment below. Let me know what results you got from it. Do you do it regular? Is it something you tested that didn't do ever again? Let me know how you found it and what results you've got from it. So thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video.